Now, the Casper military vehicle became an infamous symbol of the apartheid era as it was deployed to South African townships by the then ruling government. Now, seeking to reinvent the oppressive image of this vehicle, renowned film director Ralph Zimmern began the landmark Casper project. Working with artists from the Mpumalanga province, Zimbabwe, and women of the Ndebele tribe, a Casper was restored and decorated with beautiful art to translate the theme of reconciliation. Art can take on many forms, and one of the most unexpected is an undertaking by film director Rolf Zimmern called The Casper Project. Guys, this is a seriously stunning art piece. We are so excited to have The Casper Project right here at the Turbine Art Fair. What inspired this project? This has been a monster in the eyes of many during the apartheid days, but as the beauty we've turned it into, it's one of a kind, which is attracting people, plus the brilliant, brilliant colors, and the millions of bees that have gone in there, like 63 million, which represent each South African. So it's one man, one bead here. And when we started it, it was one color, green. So in that time, if you go closer to it, you get fed, about, you get afraid about it. Why? Because you think about war. Now, because of beads, you never think about the, about the war. You think about the art attraction, how it is. And what were some of the challenges that you guys faced? This Casper project has run for about 10 months. We started in August last year, and it's still work in progress as it is. Some of the things that, that have been hampering us is uh, like the unavailability of the type of glue. It seems like the stockists were running out of it. Then uh, also on the delay in the bringing back of these patches, because you see we have to make a stencil out of paper, send it to Mpumalanga, where there is about 76 ladies who are working on it. So if there is a delay there, that means the work actually is slowing down. And we lost a lot of money on this. Why? Because we've been, this is the first thing to do. So we were trying many ideas. Some of our ideas, we, you know, we will not succeed. Why? Because we've just been trying many ideas. So that's some of the challenges that we just faced as well. Guys, what was it like working with Rolf Zimmern on this project? It's about 10 years we are working with him. We started with the AK-47s only, we came to the Skulls, and then we are now in the Casper. So with Rolf, it's like uh, a river flowing non-stop. We're having projects coming in, of which we are having an income. With Ralph, it's like he's promoting uh, most of the artists in South Africa. Our art industry is going down in many areas, and people that are trying to imitate every corner of the art. So with Ralph now, we can see that we are just doing something different. So we are saying, uh, we really, we really need people like Ralph to be on the ground, to work with the artists, to improve them, to uplift them in Africa. Over 60 South African and Zimbabwean bead artists, as well as a team of Ndebele women, contributed to this vibrant celebration of African artistry. You guys have brought this Casper up from Cape Town to Johannesburg, but I believe it's going to travel around the world. When we done it halfway, we went with this to Cape Town, to Isiko Gallery. It was been there for, I think, for six months. Then after that, we brought it back here. Then we do the final touches. That's when we came here on Teben Hall last, it was last week. Yes, last, last week. week. Then we just brought it back again to the studio. Then we do some final touches. After that, you are here now. And according to Ralph Zimmerman, he's saying after this exhibition, end of August, we are taking it back to to United Kingdom, UK, after that to America for an art fair. Uh, we are leaving the public in awe, you know. Everyone's just opening their mouth in wow. What a thing. They are getting shocked about, uh, all about how these millions of bees are getting stuck on one item like this. Such a huge thing. And the way it is done, the designs, plus everything like the seats, the numbering, the lettering on it, is quite perfect. The creative process in this work is awe-inspiring. As they say, it takes a village to raise a child, but it takes a global village to be the Casper. Not so long ago, this very Casper was a symbol of fear and terror in South Africa, but now it's been transformed into a symbol of hope and peace for the Rainbow Nation. <laughs> 